I'm Alan Evans, the CEO of Unusual Machines. We're a drone and drone parts company traded on the New York Stock Exchange American under the symbol UMAC. I want to talk about everybody's favorite topic, government regulations. In this case, government regulations are going to have a major impact on the U.S. drone industry. In December of 2023, the American Securities Drone Act was passed as part of the defense bill. This act has a lot in it, but what it really boils down to is that by January of 2026, no government money can be spent on buying Chinese drones or operating Chinese drones. An example of what this would look like is, let's say the Department of Transportation wants to inspect a section of freeway. Typically, they'd go and hire a drone services contractor to go fly the inspection. That'll still happen in 2026, but they can't go contract a drone services provider that would then pay the salary of somebody to even fly a Chinese drone. And so it's not just going to create a marketplace for the U.S. government to need to buy American drones. A lot of these drone service providers do some percentage of work for the government, and they're going to need to go buy American-made drones too. This is going to create a huge push for domestic production of drones, different kinds of drones for different activities. What is required from these drone manufacturers is a supply chain that then lets them be compliant with the laws. Right now, most of the supply chain for things like motors or motor controllers, that, that still all comes out of China. And what there is, is there's this really large opportunity to become this dominant supplier to provide all of these companies with these pieces that they need as they try to build up and serve the government and the American people and the businesses that are going to need to replace their drones. A different set of regulations in terms of this industry come from the FAA. Right? We have these things flying all over the place. And so you'd expect the FAA to regulate it. They've been very proactive and just recently passed remote ID laws, which let you do things like fly beyond visual line of sight or they sort of beep out for more autonomous flight. And they're now working on part 108 rulemaking, which is going to be how the FAA regulates things like drone delivery or other aspects that are going to not just change the current market from China, but expand the market dramatically in terms of what people are going to be able to build and use drones for. You know, this uh, regulatory change has been what sort of slowed down delivery, for instance. And it's now pipelined and will probably hit around the same time, maybe a, a year later. What we're trying to do at Unusual Machines is get in front of the demand that these companies are going to have. If you want to look at parallels, if you look at the automotive or aerospace industries, the, these companies have qualified tier one suppliers who then go qualify and test all the parts because they can't individually do it. So for instance, all the seats in airlines aren't made by Boeing. They're made by a tier one supplier and they meet all the quality requirements. That is absolutely important for an industry to function effectively. And that's where Unusual Machine sits. We're moving in to become that certified, qualified tier one supplier to all of these companies that are about to really come on the scene in a very dramatic way in the US. These regulated industries really function the most effectively with tiered supply chains. If you look at automotive, for instance, Bosch is a tier one supplier. They provide all these parts that GM and Ford use, and they're a huge company in their own right. And then once these automotive or these aerospace companies qualify a supplier, it's very difficult to change because they need to be sure that they're working with people that provide high quality parts. Let's just take drones for a market, for instance. And let's say McDonald's or some other company is doing drone delivery. We know Walmart's working on it right now, for instance. If a drone has a motor failure and falls out of the sky, that's a huge problem. For the companies that are making the drones then, they need this certified supply chain and then when the FAA comes to decide to say yes you can fly this or not they actually audit the whole chain and this is a part of the industry that is, just isn't there yet and we think by solving this problem we can enable a lot more of these applications reduce accidents and improve compliance drones are still a new industry and this regulatory shift to domestic production is going to come with a lot of maturity and a lot of oversight from the FAA and a lot of new applications like delivery. In doing that, you're going to see the emergence of a tiered supply chain, just like you do in automotive or in aerospace, and all of the quality that comes with it. 
That's really what has us excited, is we can sit in a place to build quality, meet the regulatory needs, and ultimately meet the safety needs so that we can see drones become a, a giant additional industry. If you want to learn more about what we're doing or more about how these regulatory changes are going to open up a giant domestic industry, please visit us at unusualmachines.com.